Hi Sammy fam, today we're going to be making a meatball sandwich with kind of a Greek twist. Can't believe they seal this chicken twice. I guess I should take comfort in that. So we're going to be making chicken meatballs and we're going to give them some nice oniony flavor. With about half of an onion diced up pretty fine. I'm a slow cutter, but I still have all my fingers. We're gonna crush some garlic. I like garlic, so I won't be shy with it. I love using a garlic crusher. It makes you feel so powerful. Chop up some cilantro. This will help it taste like very fresh and light. I love having a dish that basically has a whole garden inside of it. I really go at it because I want it to spread really evenly throughout the meatball. And we're still going. bunch of oregano. Salt, of course. Cracked pepper. A lot of cracked pepper. egg for binding. I'm just going to mix it up with my hands so I can get a feel for how much breadcrumb we need to add to make it come together. Because I don't want to add too much and just have it be bready. Of course now I have a chicken hand so I can't touch anything and I have to open this new pack of panko one-handed which is kind of difficult. I once sliced my entire hand open real bad on the foil top of a panko container. They're dangerous. Mix this gently until you get a nice consistency. Don't go too hard on it. I think it's easiest just to use your hand. Make a little test ball. Yeah, seems good. Good to go. So I'm going to bake these meatballs. I'm making mine fairly big. Because I want them to fill up a sandwich and feel, you know, hearty and look like they're, you know, puffing out of the, the crack. I don't think that's the right technical term for the opening of a sandwich, but, you know, down the middle. So these will bake for 350 for about half an hour or so. You know, it'll depend on the size of your meatballs, so just check them. Let's get some toppings for our sandwich. I love red onion with these flavors. This will give it a nice Mediterranean vibe.
chop up some grape or cherry tomatoes. That'll give you some nice juicy liquid and some acidity. This isn't the most efficient way of cutting them, but it's just fun for me. And if you're not having fun in the kitchen, then what's the point? Yeah, we can squeeze one more in that row. Get it. Since we're making a Greek meatball sandwich, instead of using a provolone or mozzarella melted on top, we're gonna use a feta or a feta cheese. Um, I do not know which is correct, but this is an amazing cheese. It soaks in brine, it's super floral, it tastes like grass and flowers and salty brininess. It's amazing, I love it. have our wonderful, beautiful, kind of East Coast style sandwich hoagie roll here. It always takes me a second to decide which side is the correct side to cut. That's beautiful on the inside. Our chicken meatballs are done. They don't look super appetizing because like I don't, chicken doesn't brown a lot unless you sear it but they smell amazing and fresh, fragrant. See, I checked one to make sure it was done because the color on the outside made me nervous. You can also check for an internal temperature of like 165 Fahrenheit. Put down a bed of arugula. I like the pepperiness of arugula. Get our big juicy meatballs in there. Tomatoes. It's already pretty. Red onion. Break it up into slightly smaller pieces. This is rustic. Give that girl a good squeeze. Make sure she fits together nicely. Oh. Top everything with cheese. Colors, guys. I'm just using the same foil I used before, protecting my wife's nice baking pan she got for Christmas. And I'm just gonna put that under the broiler for a bit. We take it out once we start to get some color on the edge of the bread and the feta gets a little soft and goopy. And I'm topping it with a tzatziki sauce that is left over from when I made my air fryer falafel. This, this decadence, and it's fairly healthy. Yeah, let's see that cross section real, real quick. That, that is heaven. Now this is a meatball sub that you can tell your doctor about, and you can feel proud. I hope you guys enjoy the recipe. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Thank you.